DJ Pro is loaded with so many amazing features. And in this video, I wanna show you every way you could customize DJ Pro to fit your DJ style. So the first one is going to be classic mode. This mode is if you're gonna be scratching, doing turntablism and DJ tricks. So there's a couple of things you could do to customize this. Number one is there is expansion packs. So right now in this view, you're gonna get the biggest jog wheels in the whole software, perfect for scratching or doing DJ tricks like spin backs. But if you open these expansions here, you get a mixer. The jog wheels get a little bit smaller, but they're still the second biggest jog wheels you could use in the software. And then another thing you could do is press this EQ button. And now you have either your Neuromix EQs, a Neuromix crossfader, or your regular EQs. So this is great if you want to emulate the classic two turntables and a mixer DJing waveforms here. You could customize the waveforms, but I'll get into that in show mode because they're a lot bigger. And then now if you want to get to your features, you could open up your features here, but you're going to lose your jog wheels. But the good thing is these are active jog wheels, so you could still scratch with these active. But the good news is these are active waveforms, so you could still scratch and do everything that you would do with jog wheels with these these waveforms this view mode i think is the coolest but it's a little bit limited because you can't see as many things at the same time so i would recommend going into pro mode i'm not going to go over every view mode i made other videos about the view mode this video is about customization and then now we are in pro mode this is the mode where you're going to be able to see and do the most things at the same time which is kind of what djing is all about about. So the first thing over here are our jog wheels. Right now I have them on the extended, but there's a lot of different things you could do with these jog wheels depending on your DJ style and preferences. So there's a hidden drop down menu next to your waveforms. So we could press this drop down menu regarding the jog wheels is down here. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the waveforms after. So you could turn off your waveforms. So now there's no waveforms. Uh, if you're used to other DJ softwares that aren't as focused on the jog wheels like Tractor and other styles of DJing, then you might just want to get a big view of your waveforms like this. And again, these waveforms are are active and you could scratch and do what you need to do with them. Most people are probably going to want their jog wheels on. So I'm gonna turn on the jog wheels. So you have these jog wheels, but there is a hidden setting that you could customize these even more. So it's not in this waveform setting. We're gonna press the middle button, go down to settings, then we're gonna go to appearance. So now in appearance, there's a whole section for jog wheels. So right now it's on extended. This is the most surface area you're gonna get. So, it, so it's gonna be easier to scratching. Uh, quick rule of thumb the bigger the jog wheel the more precise you could be with your scratching the smaller one it's going to be a little bit more difficult so there are other options you got dark if you're djing outside in the bright sun or in a dark club environment it might be easier to see either on compact dark or compact light i keep it on extended because you get the most surface area and all of these three you're going to get information you're going to get the bpm and then if you change the bpm you'll see the plus and the minus of the bpm how long you're in the song and how much and how much time is left in the song which is super important a lot of controllers and other softwares have information in the jog wheel so it was cool that they added it we have one more style we could do which is going to be vinyl so it's going to show the vinyl artwork of your track looks really cool but you lose the features of seeing all that information so if you want to do that for the cool look you could do it but the one that i use is extended so now let's talk about the waveforms so here we have our waveforms this app has probably the best waveforms the easiest to see visually what the audio sounds like so we're going to press the hidden drop down menus again right now i have it on high contrast look at the waveforms if you put it on low contrast it matches the color with the other with the other parts of the app a little bit harder to see i like it on high contrast vertical you could have vertical waveforms other softwares have vertical waveforms you might be coming from those other softwares and you're used to your vertical waveforms and they're just a little bit hard to see like this but in this pro mode if you press whichever one you have selected so we have mixer selected ah, i give it away we have our library we have our looper and sampler if we press it again we get the biggest view of our waveforms here and it actually works very well in 
vertical. So we have vertical, or we could switch it back to horizontal. And then in horizontal, we have some options. We could add the Neuromix tracks to it. So this one has vocals and instrumentals. If we take out the instrumentals, you'll see that part changes. It splits it into different stems. And you could go all the way up to four bands, control everything in Neuromix, see where the vocals are going to be, see where everything is. If you use Neuromix a lot, this is a really cool feature. Now down here, this is a new thing that we could customize. It used to just be uh, able to control Neuromix, which was convenient to be able to control Neuromix in another way. But now if we press this drop down menu here, we could have this part of the app do different stuff. You could have effects. Press the drop down menu again. You could choose any effects. So you always have your two favorite effects down here. Why would you need that if you already have an effects section here? Well, maybe in this section, you're DJing with Neuromix and you can't see it. Now you could see Neuromix and your effects at the same time. So it's really convenient. And another thing, you can make this be a skip button. This is great for if you're setting cue points, because now we have our cue points here. And let's say we wanted to go 16 beats and put a cue point. Go 16 beats, put a cue point right there. Right there. So whatever feature you use the most, I like to keep it on narrow mix because I really only cut out the vocals or the instrumentals. So this is perfect way for me to use Neuromix, but you could customize it in any way that you want. Next with our cue points, these are color coded cue points. If you press the pencil button, you get a drop down menu here and you have 16 different colors you could set your cue points. I recommend you always mark your start and your end cue points. So you could do your start in green and then up here you could type in start and then you could do red for your end cue point. So whenever you load up the song, you could see by the colors that it, that you know where to start and end your songs. And the really cool thing is if you have a controller with RGB lights, it will actually correspond to the color on the screen. So you'll have that green cue point whenever you need it and you'll be able to see it with your controller, which is super cool. The last thing that I wanna talk about is this cue button here. So right now, wherever in the song I select, so let's say we're up to here. Now when you press this cue, it's gonna set a cue there. So wherever, wherever we choose, you got a cue and then you press the cue and it is going to cue that song so you can get your track ready. But there is another setting that you could do. So if we go to appearance and then we have, oh, one thing I forgot about the cue points here. So you see those cue points? We go to settings, appearance, and you could change the style of your cue points. So low contrast, just the arrows are colored. High contrast, the whole thing's colored. I think it looks better. So now with our start cue button, you may be, you may be more used to this style, set and jump. You have a little bit more control. So now you choose where you want it, press set. And now no matter where you are in the track, you press set, it'll bounce back until you want to set a new one. And then it is set there. It is set there. The last thing is a new feature. And that is if you go to modes, press this button, now we get a light mode. Looks super cool. And again, depending on your lighting environment, you may be in the bright sun or a dark club. You may be able to see better with this. You may be able to see better in light mode. And it also looks super futuristic and cool. And if you want to see my full tutorial for DJ Pro for the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.